Hello, hello, everybody. So today is the last day of the Creator Summit, and it's super, super, super special. Creator Summit number 10, day 10. We are here to celebrate the book launch, Secrets Behind the Scenes, the wedding book. It's by my side, beautiful, and we have three amazing guests today to share with you all the secrets behind their scenes, tips, insights, etc. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is that it has been two years, two years that we are working for the book launch and with the book. We have part of the book 64 wedding planners and wedding designers and wedding creators from 36 countries. It's beautiful and it's now available for pre-orders. So make sure to get your copy. We are doing our best. It's, despite everything that is happening in the world, we are doing our best so you can get yours right now, fast. Maybe Santa Claus can help us. <laughs> I want to start with someone that I had to say. I had to be honest. I'm a huge fan forever. Since I was like starting my career here in Brazil as a wedding creator, as a wedding planner, uh, it was way more than just photos. It was way more than just like beautiful photos. And in his website, he says, when you find someone that has more faith in you than yourself, you know that you're in the right track. I'm so excited and so happy to share the stage today with you. So, Fer, what is it from Mexico? And you'll be here with us today. Hi, Fer. Good morning. Hi, Gio. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for coming. I'm so happy to have you here with us. A pleasure. No, thank you. Thank, thank you for, for the invite. And I'm here for you guys. So, I was looking at your website because I'm a huge fan for a long time of your work and now I realize why your photos are so special to me because it's not about photos it's about feelings it's about memories it's about they make me feel something it's it's different so I want to listen from you Phil uh, what how do you keep challenging yourself to create amazing things and deliver to couples way more than just beautiful photos but experience and memories forever because you say you speak a lot about your family by the way you have beautiful children uh, your wife your they are all over your place your website your about us page it's a piece of art because you don't talk about photography you don't talk about work you don't you talk about feelings i i really want to listen from you well i i think as as any creator it takes time to to develop your style and education, it, it's a big part of, uh, of your development. So, so, so for me, I think my first three years as a wedding photographer, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I was just reacting and, and pleasing everyone uh, until, until I saw uh, these big heroes uh, going to different conventions. And I saw, okay, I want to be one of those guys. I, I want to have my own language and hopefully find the right couples that, that believe in myself. So, so that, that's, that's the main goal for me, to, to try to connect with couples that they can be my friends as well. But at the same time that, you know that wedding photography can be full of cliches, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Like fr from the outside point of view, uh, you think of only people looking the, their best, looking at the camera, and that's it. And, and I'm, I'm okay with that. But... I know that you can go beyond that, uh, and I wanted to to be part of that league. So, so that's that's my challenge to say, hey guys, yes, I do everything, but please choose me because of my favorite images as well, and and be more than just another vendor. Yes, this is something that is really clear because uh, we were talking uh, with uh, Pedro Bento from Portugal yesterday, and I was telling him, this is the biggest difference between a photographer and a, a, a wedding photographer that knows that weddings are way more than just beautiful pictures. It's about feelings and memories and experience. So when you say about the importance of having uh, your children by your side and your wife and, you know, like celebrating the grandparents and something that you're like almost hidden behind everything, like just... Mm -hmm. it's it's incredible and i want to know from you uh what do you do like on your daily basis to 
uh, keep those feelings coming for you because it's a tough job. It's a hard mm -hmm. job. The post-production, people had no idea how much work you have as a photographer. The same, the same work that we have, like the crazy work that we have before as wedding planners, but if photographers work, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep those feelings, like artistic feelings inside of you so you can keep developing the, the creativity part? I think um, consuming stuff that usually you don't produce, uh, like mm -hmm. I, I, I love reading about creativity and, and, and not about uh, creativity applying in, in photography. Like uh, the, the book I'm reading right now, it's about uh, uh, he's a DJ and a, and a musician and how he found his style, you know, and, and, and then you, you can relate and you can connect and try to apply those dots in, in your photography. So, so okay. I think sometimes we can get obsessed with my world. It's only wedding photography, and that's not it. You, you have to you have to find creativity and inspiration outside your industry, and as well uh, keep your community growing. Like connect with other wedding photographers, with other wedding vendors, see how they're doing. It's 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 not only about you, but it's it's about okay. challenging yourself and saying, okay, I, I have never seen. Uh, that point of view or that perspective let me try it so yes. so yeah I think you have to be stubborn with with your style but but be extremely flexible with what's happening outside I love that you have to be stubborn with your own style and be flexible <laughs> I love that this is the most and Fed, um, how do you start your day when you have a wedding uh, at a day do you have some kind of ritual or something that you get in the mood because mm -hmm. it's not just about packing your bags and go you mm -hmm. do you have something different that you do well i, I have a, a song that i really love it's it's called everything i need and it's it's like a like a mantra it, it repeats mm -hmm. that word like i don't know like 200 times in in three minutes or so and i just love uh, i'm an early bird I, i i love waking waking up before the sun and usually I pick up my camera and just go walking wherever the wedding is Just, just to capture the, the vibe of the city as well. N not only about the bride and the groom, but everything ar around, uh, uh, around the place as well. And, and when I don't have weddings, I just go walking or running at the same time because uh, it's, it's creating these habits that, that you have to have discipline and, and be focused as well. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that your camera is almost like an extension of your own body? You, you, you miss your camera when you're not using it? Like at least your cell phone or something that you you like to register everything that you'll see? How do you feel like that? Yeah, like uh, like the birth of my kids, uh, I, I photographed them. Uh, in, instead of being like hugging my wife and saying yes, I, I was saying <laughs> yes and clicking away. Uh, like, yeah, my, my, my grandmother, uh, one of my grandmothers, she passed away of Alzheimer. And, and for me, it's, it's like that. If I don't have a click, uh, the, the moment didn't exist. So mm -hmm. I, I want to capture as much as I can. And I, I'm not a kind of a, like a selfie guy, you know, I, 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 I'm not in that league. But, but yeah, what, what, what's uh, after my eyes or in front of my eyes, I like, I like to capture it and always imagining what's the most interesting way of capturing a common thing. No, I love that. I love that this... It's, it's like you, you're really registering your life in pictures. That's why it's so special. It's not just random pictures, like a thousand pictures of the same thing. It's like special. It's amazing. And mm -hmm. Feb, you are a part of the wedding book with mm -hmm. Guadalupe Alvarez from Pains Weddings. Mm -hmm. uh, an amazing wedding. It was such a hard work for us to choose just a few pictures because... It was, I think, three days, and mm -hmm. you have a, a pool party and mm -hmm. a lot of things in San Miguel de Allende. And how it was for you to be part of the wedding? It, it was uh, an explosion of feelings because uh, I had a chance to work with, with another friend. He's, he's a photographer based in, in Canada, Evan. And when you work in pairs, uh, you know that one of them can risk a lot. So, so, mm -hmm. so one can be like the safe picture and the other one just go as cuckoo as they want. So, <laughs> so I love working with, with other photographers that I admire because I challenge them to, to do that. And usually I don't meet my couples during, before their wedding day. 
So, so when you have a chance to photograph them for more than one day, it's, it's beautiful because you can connect with anyone. And, and I mean everyone, like they're, they're the guests, the, the waiters, the florists. I'm not the guy who's going to be, I'm the artist. Uh, let me work. It's like, no, dude, like, let's, let's, let's make a, an let's amazing wedding yeah. together. Yes. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's the sacrifices. And uh, I don't know in Brazil, but sometimes in Mexico, there's, there's a little bit of the, like who's who and the cliches of, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, like, forget yes, about Yes, I think that. all over the places, yeah. like, there's always, like, an ego star that is, I don't yeah. know. Anyway, they're yeah. not that, that, that type of people that are here. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's, 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 <laughs> they don't like, they don't like to share. They don't like to share. So if they don't like to share, I don't like to stay with them. So, yes, yeah. I, I understand totally. Yeah, in the end, it's, it's team effort because if, if, if Like, you have to have the trust to go to the DJ and say, hey, can you please me help with this kind of light? Or, mm -hmm. or sometimes it's, I'm hungry. Can, can you help me? Eat? Like, in between the, the not so important moments. So, so you, you need that. You need that connection with, with the industry. Not, not only the, mm -hmm. the, the photography, but it's, 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 it's a team. Yes, yes. Talking about lighting, this is something that I am wedding, as a wedding planner when I was to work as a wedding planner. I was always, always like looking at pictures mm -hmm. from photographers that I admire like you because I wanted to understand the lighting process. Uh, how mm -hmm. it is it for you like to work with wedding planners from so many different places and cultures and traditions? Because, of course, you need to sometimes... Uh, do your best with what we have, etc. But mm -hmm. do, you, do you have something special that you like to tell them, share with them? Because we have a lot of wedding planners here, mm -hmm. like uh, tips, how they can help photographers, how can mm -hmm. we improve the work together? Anyway. Yeah, well, not because the place looks beautiful, it means that the people are going to look beautiful. So, yeah, I, I see a lot of investment in like, architecture like uh, lighting the trees and lighting the ceiling but like if, if there's no uh, light in the faces it's it's a no-go for me so I, i usually send like a guide to 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 my couples to to see the importance of light and and even like the time for for their engagement session or or the like you cannot do magic at 1 p.m if, if the sounds like this you know like Well, at least I can't because I try to work as uh, simple as possible. I don't have like 10 assistants, you know, like mm -hmm. for, for me, a wedding needs to have uh, a lot of intimacy. And if you have a big team, I mean, in the photography part, you're, you're going to block a lot of the important things. Yes. You know? So, so I'm, yes. I'm always trying to be like a ninja, like being like a below everyone else. So I don't want to... <laughs> Love the, the things. Yeah, I, I want people to have memories as well. But yeah, I had, I had a, mm -hmm. I had a couple in a, a once that they asked me. Uh, their ceremony was, I think, 8 p.m. and they asked me to have the uh, the photo shoot for uh, with the sunset. And I was like, uh, this is not gonna happen because mm -hmm. your ceremony is 8 p.m. So, did you have some crazy requests from a couple that you were like, mm, we will need to change that, or at least let me see what I can do. Yeah, look, I, I need all their help. They can't. I, I never sell myself as a professional photographer. Never. So it's it's more like the personal thing. So so yeah, I say, hey guys, uh, it's it's better to to have a, a lot of time beforehand than than after one. Like like even sometimes people don't don't want to see each other before the ceremony when there's like a lot of traditions, and it's like yeah, we're gonna lose the best light. So. A lot of times I, I, I give them like a extra session, like the day after the wedding or two days after, mm -hmm. because yeah, I, I need to have those images. I, I want to keep creating an amazing portfolio for them. Yeah, I have, we have part of the book. Mm -hmm. By the way, is the photo that is open in the book mm -hmm. is your photo from that wedding. And the couple is uh, on the tables, like the, it's crazy because mm -hmm. it's, not out of the box it's something it's a piece of art mm -hmm. so uh, you need to feel the couple because there are no couples they're gonna agree but uh -huh. how do you do that there's something that you like you go to the place before and see how it's going to work and maybe you can create something in advance or something that you you have in the end the time and say let's do it mm -hmm. yeah yeah for, well for that picture it, it was like a we needed to plan it because 
like the the place looked amazing like and i wanted to to i'm not a big fan of only showing details without humans you know like i i love to see like hands working uh, or or cleaning glasses it's it's like yeah the magic behind not only how beautiful it looked so so for this house it's it's just a gorgeous house and 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 the decoration was magnificent so i wanted to to empower it but not only with a simple thing. So, so yeah, I, I, I make the couple like stand on top of the table and they were okay with it. They, they were just relaxed, chill people. And, and you have to have that uh, sensibility to know who's going to do it and who doesn't. Because okay. I, have, I have tried it before and a lot of couples say no. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and sometimes even like the, 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 the florist or the wedding planner have, have said me no. So, so when you work with professionals that they know that that picture is going to be worth it, uh, they're going to help you making out because this was just before the first dance. So everybody was leaving to the party and, and we talked with, took with the bride and groom say, hey guys, stay like for two more minutes, please. And, and it was fast. It was like 30 seconds, but yeah, the, the magic has to happen. And, and when everything yeah. collides, it's, it's pure, pure joy. Yes. And when you say about having the human side, uh, on weddings, this is all about the wedding book because when we had the idea uh, of having a book, of creating a book, we didn't want to have a book just with be beautiful pictures because mm -hmm. we wanted to have a diverse, uh, inclusive book that everybody that sees the book, they can say, okay, I can fit somehow. I can get married. Everybody can get married. They mm -hmm. just need to be two people that love each other and decide to live their life together. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you do a lot in photography. You... Uh, put a couple and in such crazy things in a way I see uh, it's like I know their behavior I know them personally so do you have uh, it's, it's a stupid question but I'm curious do you have mm -hmm. some kind of a portfolio that you show to couples or they we just go guys let's let's do it together <laughs> well uh, for me even on my website there I say that every wedding is an experiment so because I, I want to, yeah, I want to filter couples. I, I know that I'm not the photographer for everyone. And mm -hmm. that it's, that's not saying that I'm better than, but I just want them to really value my, my effort that I put into, into weddings. Uh, I know that weddings can be just like a, like, like a business or just like sign here, go. But, but I, I want, it, it's my passion as well, wedding photography. You know, so, okay. so if, if I'm on a wedding, I really want to enjoy the energy, the vibe, the freedom that they're allowing me to, to, to shoot. So, so that's the important thing. If, if you go to a wedding and nothing's clicking, you're not going to be inspired and the portfolio is going to be shown. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it, it, it's yeah. extremely honest as, 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 as a vendor to be completely honest and direct fr from, from the get-go, from, from the first Zoom meeting, from your website, to see what kind of pictures they wanna, they're gonna get at the end. Yes, yes, I, I totally agree. Talking about business, uh, the Creative Summit we are doing for the launch, for the book launch, is more than just a congress or something that we are talking about weddings. Mm -hmm. I, really want, I really want to bring people that could share like secrets from behind the scenes. And one of the mm -hmm. things that you do a lot in your career, you do a lot of workshops, masterclass, you have a mm -hmm. Patreon, etc. So I want to hear from you, Fer, uh, how this is important for your business and how photographers can implement the uh, revenue, etc., doing other things than just photography. Well, I, I think w when you start to teach, you feel so vulnerable b because a lot of times uh, you, you don't know what you do exactly. Uh, and a lot of times people see your potential before you see it in yourself. So, I love so, that. You have yeah. that in your uh, About Us page, and I love that. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes validation comes uh, from, from external sources, you know? Like, you're just trying to do the, the best you can, and sometimes, yeah, good pictures. And you're like, really? For sure? <laughs> you know, like, so, so I, I think as, 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 uh, as creators, sometimes uh, we lack of, uh, how to say, uh, how to say, validation or uh, self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Confidence, yes. Yeah. So, so for me, when I started teaching, it, it, it was a challenge. Like, I still remember the first time I, I went to Brazil, it was 2009. And I, I was like, really, man? Like, you, you want this dude to teach you how to do your stuff? <laughs> so, but uh, say, saying yes to 
when, when you don't feel comfortable, it's the best way to, to get, out, get out of your comfort zone and, and keep pushing yourself. So, yes, so, so yes. I think any creator needs that part, you know, like, are, are you specialist with flowers? Yes, like you have to do something with, I don't know, with pens. Okay, do something with pens and, 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 and say yes to that because it, it's going to push you and, and bring you to a different place, you know? Well, I, I definitely agree. And one of the things that I've been doing here Fair, is asking crazy questions for people because I'm that kind of person. I like crazy questions. So okay. uh, <laughs> let's say that you, the, the, if I give you a world trip ticket, like for, you can choose, okay? And you have to choose three places. Where would you go and what kind of people would like to uh, take pictures of their weddings? Okay. You, you mean countries? Or whatever place you want to go. Yes. So three different places. I will pay, yes, I will pay for you to shoot weddings wherever you want. Like, you can choose. Okay, shoot. Okay, that, that's, that's a weird one. Well, I don't know. I would love to, <laughs> to, to take a picture. If I don't know if uh, the bride or, or the groom, they, they were born in a house. You know, they had like a, like a, like a instead of going to a hospital, they, they were born there. You know, to, to do uh -huh. something like that, to, to, to have something, to go to the roots of, of their birth and, 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 and do their celebration oh. there. I don't know, just stupid shit like that. Sorry. Uh, no, but I, no, it's not. It's not. It's super cool. But where? What kind of country? Or you know, for people? It doesn't you matter. Know what? No, the, 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 I, I've had, had a lot of things, but if, if the connection with the couple is there, the place can be as ugly as as no matter where, but, but because I've had, had the opposite, you know, like amazing places with no connection and it sucks. So yeah, uh, the, the, the place, and I, I think I prefer the vibe uh, than the place. Yes, we do have as part of belief, we do have a project, a social project, which is two plus us. So we give a couple that doesn't have the, the money, etc., mm -hmm. a wedding. So it is so many beautiful stories. And maybe you can join us for one. Dude, I think you're going to like there. it. I am there, definitely. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. let's, 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 let's go, let's go. So Fed the Wedding Book is about th three things, love, experience, and people. Uh, when I say that are people from 36 countries and it's about inclusion, diversity, etc., it's real. This is something that is mm -hmm. it's part of the book. What is important for you uh, as being a wedding photographer? Because this is, this is not a kind of job that you say, okay, I'm going to, I don't know, work in a sale stuff. What makes you, like, proud to be a wedding photographer? I, okay. Huh. Well, I, I know that sometimes uh, after you get married, like, a wedding can look like, yeah, it was, it was the wedding, you know? And I don't know, if you go by the numbers, like, how many couples they survive, uh, and, and they make a, make a family and they build up. So when people can see back and you're part of their memories, uh, I think that's, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's it, you know? And, and, and to be totally honest, I, I, I was at the beginning of, of, of my career, the, the, the kind of photographer that, that, was, that I didn't honor other vendors, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, photography is the priority. And, and after the years, you say like, no, no that's BS. You know, you have, you have to make a team. And, and because I started to know people that had the passion that I had in photography with the things that they do, mm -hmm. you know? And, and sometimes I think that photographers, we can be quite cocky, you know, because yeah, photography, it's everything. And, and we have to be humble and we have to say it, it, yes. it's a part of everything. And, and, yes. and that's it. So I think uh, when I got slapped in the face with all the other passion that I saw in other vendors, I was, okay, big, big mistake, rookie mistake. You have to change from, from here on. So, so yeah, it's uh, being able to connect with every vendor, like from the waiter to the planner to the DJ uh, to the guy who's wearing the mask and using the lasers, you know. <laughs> it, 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 you have to be able to see that when you see passionable people doing what they love, uh, you're in the right place. 
Oh, I love that. Ufe, I could stay here like the whole day talk to you. This is such an amazing chat. Thank you so much. Would you like to add something for everybody that is watching us now? Do I want to say what, sorry? <laughs> Would you like to add something for everybody that is watching us now? A final no, message or something? Just, just, just keep making friends. Uh, don't, not, don't see the couples or the vendors only with money signs in their heads. Uh, connect beyond the industry and, and you're going to be all right. No, fair. Thank you so much for being here with us for the Creator Summit. I'll send your book right away. As soon as I have it, you're going to have one in your, in your hands as well. Thank, Thank you so much, my friend. It was great. Have an amazing day. Likewise. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, you could stay here forever, right? Such an amazing chat. It was amazing. So for what is, he's also part of the wedding book. He has wedding with Guadalupe and all the Pansy team in San Miguel de Allende. And it was beautiful. They are opening the book as well with crazy, crazy photo that you have to see it. And now we're going to go from Mexico all the way to the Middle East because I wanted to bring someone part of the industry that is not a vendor but is a media partner it's from Arabia Weddings. Samar, where are you? Let me call her here. Okay. It'll be great to hear from her, all her experience in the wedding industry. Hello. How are you? How are you? Great to see you. Welcome for the Creator Summit. <laughs> so, guys, You've been I can hear you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> guys, if for the launch of the book, it's amazing to see that we're covering 36 countries and 64 weddings. We're highlighting all you know, the diverse cultures. Uh, traditions and celebrations all around the world fantastic well done oh thank you so much thank you so much so if you don't know samar samar is the uh, managing director for arabia weddings uh, one of the biggest platforms in the middle east and she's an amazing media partner of us she's always with us for the belief awards for creating memories and i'm super happy to have you here with us today Today, celebrating the launch of the book, uh, Secrets Behind the Scenes, and I want to ask you a couple of questions. For example, we are talking a lot about business, okay? And as one of the biggest media outlets uh, in the Middle East, what is your tip for wedding creators that are afraid to invest now that to get their business more exposure? Because we are living in a crazy time and we need to show up more than ever, right? So I want to listen from you. Yes, indeed, crazy times. I mean, you can say this again, definitely. It's been uh, such a weird uh, year. And, and uh, unfortunately, the weddings were, you know, the worst, the, you know, they were the worst hit industries all around the world, particularly in our region. Mostly weddings still are not uh, taking place. But also, this is a good time for the creators uh, to prepare for the time, you know, when, when weddings uh, resume and when there's uh, more, more demand. And I'm sure it's, it's going to be very positive next year. So, I mean, as, an, as, uh, as digital media, I would say it is digital media. It's everything you need to do about digital media. It's about being there, out there, speak, engage with your uh, clients or potential clients, with your suppliers, whether it's uh, through the social media platforms or through your websites creating content, even if there are no weddings, but I'm sure, you know, you, the uh, creators do photo shoots, photo sessions, mm -hmm. or, you know, revisit all the weddings that they've done in the past and highlight the specific areas in it, or write blogs, send out newsletters, uh, do videos, uh, get testimonials from the brides in the past that have, you know, you've done amazing work for, get testimonials from, from your suppliers as well. Because these are the two main sources of uh, referrals, you mean, the, the mm -hmm. pre-brides and grooms and the suppliers uh, that the creators have worked with. So I think there's, there's a lot to do in terms of creating content, sharing it, and distributing it, whether through social media or blogs or the book that you've just launched, for example. <laughs> 
platforms, with books, with, you know, news uh, ma magazines and newspapers, uh, whatever. Just keep your name out there. Uh, stay top of mind. And then when the time, you know, when the right time comes, then hopefully you'll be flooded and inundated with you know, inquiries, asking for quotations and submissions. Yes, I love that. And, you know, I have been talking a lot. This was a year that we did uh, the Belief Awards in the beginning. We had the Help is on the Way, which was a program that we helped uh, couples that didn't have wedding planners. And we were featured. Belief was featured, I think, in more than 100 places just this year because we value a lot our media partners, such as Warabi Weddings, and we know the importance uh, that we have uh, to give our members right and trustful platforms. And marketing is when we use some tools and process, et cetera, to get the message to the right people. Uh, what is the message that Arabi Weddings uh, wants to share for their audience? Uh, it's always about love. <laughs> it's always, you know, we're always, we're all, I think all of, of us are here because we love love. We love creating mm -hmm. stories. We love to be part of, you know, the wedding day of this, uh, of the couple, a part of the memories that we're going to build together that would hopefully last, you know, a lifetime. So uh, mm -hmm. it's all our uh, love and positivity and passion, creation, uh, collaboration. Um, we're very, very strong in terms of collaboration. We really like to reach out and collaborate with, you know, with, with wedding vendors and, and other publications and suppliers and the wedding community at large from all around the world because you know we really believe that it's definitely the wedding industry is stronger when we're all uh, working together and, uh, and we're always looking at you know in the, we're always looking far ahead it's the long it's not something I don't you know I'm like you know I know Giovanna for two or three years but I, I'm not you know I, I'm, yeah. I mean I don't want anything from you now because I know we're building this relationship to benefit the community at large so It's yes. Also, yes, we're very, uh, we're very big on collaborations, and strongly, uh, you know, feel that there more, more of it should happen, more collaboration between the planners and the suppliers and the industry and the community across the regions as well. Yes. And yes. Part, part of what you do as well, part of your, also, you know, motto and objectives of belief. Yes, this is, this is it because we believe that uh, the wedding industry is like a tree. We cannot have just the, the branch or just the flowers or just the leaves. We have to have the tree. So it needs to work together. Otherwise, the tree is going to be dead soon. And I love that. And for you, Samar, what was the most remarkable wedding that you remember that were part of the Arabi Weddings, featuring our Arabi Weddings? There's nothing really comes specific to mind. We love to feature all sorts of weddings. So as much as we love uh, luxurious and glamorous weddings, because, you know, they have this uh, um, element in them, you know, that, you know, the wow factor is always uh, there. But we also like to feature very simple, elegant, nice, understated weddings. Because mm -hmm. as an outlet, we're not, we don't cater for the top luxury, high-end clientele only. You know, it's... We're, more, we're a more mass market platform. We love to show and share all sorts of weddings. And I really mm -hmm. can't say that there is a specific wedding that I really, you know, like fell for or loved or enjoyed looking at. There's always lovely images in, in most of the weddings. But I, for us, but I prefer definitely when I'm looking at the images, and that's the case as well with our uh, audience, is... Um, um, we, like to, we like to look at real weddings, where the weddings get more pictures of when the brides and the grooms are showing in the picture, because mm -hmm. we can relate more to these images than just the close-up, the you know, zoomed-in images of the wedding creators. But at the same time, these images have to be really like natural, intimate, in a relaxed environment, and not typically. I mean, we were very, like in the Middle East, it's always those old images of where the whole family is lined up, and they're all like, you know, uh, like, you know, like stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's not, it's, uh, we, you know, it's more about the intimate, 
relaxed um, images that our audience likes to uh, engage with uh, more, uh, more. Yes. And I think uh, for, for the wedding creators to stand out on social media, it's all about images. It's all about wedding photography. It's about getting, as uh, you know, the photographer was just saying, you know, getting those uh, photograph uh, photographs right, the lighting, the composition, the depth, the, you know, all of those uh, elements of, uh, of excellence in photography mm -hmm. uh, can say, and say a lot and speak on behalf of the, of the wedding creators uh, a lot. Yes, we have been working, now we are uh, in the third, I think it's the fourth edition of the awards. And in the beginning, people were like sending us, uploading photos from their cell phones or photos like that someone, and we're like, no, because it's a process. We need to uh, make it clear for people that if you do an amazing work as a wedding vendor, as a wedding planner, a cake designer, etc., you have to have a great photographer to register that so they can have their memories forever. And you see a lot of weddings every single day. I'm sure about that. But besides the, the party, what is special for you in the wedding? What is the moment in a wedding that say like, okay, this is something that makes me feel special or at least creates you some sensations? Yes. I'm always, always moved with the image of the father walking the bride down. Ah, uh, oh, uh, beautiful. Yes. So these are the intimate moments, you know. It's a first look when the, when the groom, for example, sees the, the, the bride for the first time in her white uh, dress. It's mm -hmm. the father and the family and like, you know, uh, with interacting with the, with the bride and the groom. These, these images that have emotions. Uh, and not just happiness, but all sorts of, you know, of emotions, because, you know, it's a, it's a day full of emotions. It's a roller coaster, uh, you know, day yes. of, of emotions. So these are, I'm, I'm moved more by these images, actually, than, than, you know, anything else, like people dancing on the floor, on the dance floor, or... <laughs> <laughs> so, so I love that, because guys... Sorry. If you're if you're listening to Samar and she's giving a lot of amazing tips, a lot of amazing tips. So images with emotions, uh, photographer, uh, professional photos. Make sure to get people in your photos, not just like details, because sometimes we are so uh, thinking about Pinterest and those detailed detailed images, and it's it's not about all of that. We need to share people. We need to share emotions. We need to share experience. And for you, Samar. Uh, working in the wedding industry for so many years, what gives you, gives you like something that you say, okay, I'm going to stay here working because I love the industry? Yes, I love the industry. I've been working in it for many years <laughs> and wedding planner. I've started working in the industry as an organizer for the wedding show in Jordan. So basically, uh -huh. event, event manager uh, or like, let's say, you know, event planner, event manager, but more on the exhibition side. So we started mm. the order and we've done it for 10, 12 years. And then when the social media came about and the people were more, you know, like the bride uh, in the past, the exhibition was her only source of inspiration and maybe a magazine mm. as well. So she used to go to an exhibition to meet the suppliers and see what's uh, on trend and, you know, see what's on promotion as well and what discounts she can get uh, during the event. And then the social media came and that's where I was, started thinking, you know, I, I want to stay in this sector, but I don't feel that there is a strong future for mm -hmm. physical events at all with the rise of the social media. And that was like in, 20, uh, in 2010, I think. So, so that's how the idea of uh, creating Arabia Weddings came about. It's that I, I want to be involved in this sector. And not just in Jordan. I want to do something that you know that is more regional, that is that's wider than the boundaries of my own uh, my own country. And I don't have a technology background, but I was like you know reading and writing, and of course learning about the not.com because that was you know that's the, the wedding platform of the world. Uh, then, mm -hmm. then I decided you know there's nothing like this in the Middle East, so that that is a good you know that's a good idea. Why don't I just create a digital platform? Uh, whether I understand technology or I don't, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll try out. I create a wedding uh, um, platform where I can 
engage with the brides and grooms to be. I can answer their inquiries, not just once a year when they come to the exhibition and say, you know, I'm looking for a wedding gown, blah, 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 <laughs> can I find it, etc. So I, I can now engage with the brides and the grooms 24 seven and with the wedding community. And so that's yes. Arabia Wedding was created. And that's how it came about. And then, you know, from Jordan, we decided, no, we want to, you know, uh, be in the Middle East and be around the world. And that's how, you know, we started. But it all, of course, boils down to my love to the weddings industry, to the weddings, to creating those stories between the couples and, the, the, and yes, the passion. So that's what keeps us going. I love that. And we have a similar path because I found a belief exactly because of that, because we didn't have an international community for wedding planners and wedding designers. And I saw a huge uh, gap, you know, like photographers, they had their own uh, communities, not associations, communities, actually communities that could share, etc. It was like, okay, if they don't have, I'm going to create one. <laughs> It's very much needed. And we, we need it so much in the Middle East. We have only one association that came out of Dubai last year called the Middle East Weddings uh, Alliance. I'm not sure if uh, maybe I would mention that when you were interviewing them or not, but we sit on the board of that. We're founding members of this uh -huh. uh, that's based in, in Dubai, but, the, but it's, uh, it's still new. It's still, you know, it's still a baby. There is a lot more that, that can be done in terms of yes. the wedding community together and learning from each other and sharing experiences and attending workshops getting certifications for new aspiring young you know wedding planners uh, still it's it's early days yet and there's you know yes yeah it's, it's a tough job but it's it's worth it i love to see for example here we have peru italia mexico uh, jordan we have united states a lot of people just here so those kind of connections are so strong and especially for the wedding industry because we do the work and you guys can spread the word. Like, okay, everybody look at that, that, it's, that they did in Italia or et cetera. So I love that. And you know, Samar, I have been asking crazy questions for everybody. I want to ask you, if you have two wishes that you can make to the genie, uh, what kind of wishes would you have, uh, would you make for one for the wedding industry and the other one you can choose? I'm gonna leave you free for, to choose. <laughs> the thing about is travel, travel, travel. I just want to travel. <laughs> With vaccine, no vaccine, I don't know. I want to travel. <laughs> uh, I've been now stuck in Jordan since March. And, uh, oh my gosh. Quarantines and lockdowns and all of that. So I just can't wait for the moment where we can all go together. And I don't want to travel to go to a, like a remote island and relax on the beach. No, I, I want to go to a wedding uh, industry event, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel, uh, you know, the dynamics uh, of, you know, in an event, the, uh, you know, the vibes, the positive vibes, meet new, uh, meet new people, meet old friends, meet acquaintances. And this is all, <laughs> this is all my... Yes, I think, I think everybody's asking the same thing. I hope the genie can give us the make the wish come true because we all want to travel. <laughs> Samar, it was amazing. Samar, uh, Arabia Weddings, they are uh, also our media partners for the wedding book. We are always working together for almost three years, I believe, two, three years now. And we would like to leave some uh, final message for everybody that's watching us. Well, I'd like to congratulate you on, uh, you know, launching this book. I can't wait to see it. I know that you've shipped it to me. So yes. I'm, you know, anxious to get my hands on it. Uh, we're always, we would always there to support your activities, activities of your members anytime. We'd love to share the wedding stories on our platform. Uh, we, we, have a, you know, we have some criteria, but you know, if, if there's anyone who would like to write to us and say, you know, they would like to, uh, mm -hmm. submit, you know, to uh, submit their weddings to us, so they're more than welcome. And uh, I can't wait to meet you in person, meet your members. Yeah, me too. Me too. It'll be amazing. I can't wait. Hopefully... Really soon. <laughs> okay.
Hello. Samar, thank you so much for being here with us today for the book launch. It was amazing. I really enjoyed to have you here with us. Guys, make sure to go to our weddings, uh, Instagram and website. The platform is amazing, covers all Middle East and worldwide because we have been featuring a lot of uh, planners, part of Belief over there. And it was amazing. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh boy, this was amazing. Now I'm going to invite my partner in crime, Guadalupe, because I want to show you guys inside the book. But let me call her here. Guada, where are you? Here. So I have the book here in my hands. Hello, Guada. Hello. <laughs> was great today, right? It was so cool to have Fer and Samar here with us. So amazing to be able to listen to them from them, like their experience. So good, right? And, and you guys want to go to Jordan now for the retreat. Oh, my gosh. Another place. <laughs> I was there March 12th, left Jordan in the last plane before COVID. So I want to go back. And yes, I want to go everywhere. I want to sh shadow every wedding there's in... Everybody. <laughs> we, need, we need to create a worldwide uh, book tour so we can go to other places. What do you think? This is a good idea, eh? I, why didn't mm -hmm. think about it before? But yes, let's yeah. what, what do you think? Should we, should we show them the book? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. I'm going to show I, you the book, guys. I want to see the book. <laughs> so here it is the book mm -hmm. it's beautiful that i'm gonna show you almost almost everything because i'm gonna leave it to you guys look where is fair photo and it's a sensorial book so you're gonna have things that you can play with for example you can feel the book the map is not here like it's not easy to see you need to feel the book. I love that. And we do have a lot of, let me, look, Italy, Arun, and a lot of content because the book is not only about beautiful pictures, but it's about a lot of content. So behind the scenes secrets. I love so, that. So we learn from each other. It's not just a pretty book. It's really a book like, how did you manage yeah these chandeliers how did you uh do this so yes i'm so excited. yeah oh this is from pansy from san miguel this is the wedding that fred has shot uh so it's beautiful let me see who is here so i can Rui. let me get one of you just one my friend now he's gonna die <laughs> you know everybody i know I wanted to do a big party i know that we can't right now but I promise you, we will do a big party in each of your countries. We will. We no. definitely will. Because we are like that. We want to show you guys the world. So, for example, we do have Valentina here from Italy. And we have here Judy from Panama. And we have here Rui from Portugal. Look, my friend. And we have it here, Ilse from Mexico. So, and for example, we, we have here in the beginning of the book, this is one of the things that I most love about the book. Uh, for example, we we'll have here... I love that. I uh, love that. A lot of things that you're going to learn from behind the scenes. This is so big that I'm just like hiding behind the book, but it's worth it, guys. And over here, which is one of my favorite parts, let's see. You have all the information from behind the scenes. So all the cultures, all the traditions, what happened, what were the most uh, crazy things, requests. Uh, for example, here I just, the craziest stories part of the book. Uh, and here you have the traditions and how you can implement in your business as well. All the traditions, all the world, like here you can see, for example, one has in Mexico. So you can see the kind of traditions that they have on ceremony. Ah, 
Oh, it's a lot of things, a lot of things. And one of the things that I'm super proud of as well is in the end of the book, we are celebrating the teamwork, yeah. the teamwork. So every single vendor that is part of the book is mentioned here. So if you are one of the vendors part of the wedding book, if you have one of your weddings here, it doesn't matter the time, the size of your company, if you are like the cake designer, the dress designer, if you want, if you are, I don't know, the transfer, you are mentioned here because this is not a book just with beautiful pictures. This, for example, I'm, I'm going to show that part. Here, to read that part, to read that part, you need to turn around the book because it is a sensorial book. Go slowly. So. Because that was been very fast. Show it again, slowly. <laughs> I'm going to show it. Uh, let me see here. It's nice because we need to, for example, here, okay? So we do have here, but it's not like that. You need to turn so you can read. So the book is uh, for creative people. The book was made for creative people, by creative people, for the wedding industry. It's not just a beautiful book, which, by the way, it is a beautiful book, but it's something that you can use for your... Uh, business you can uh, share with your clients. Not If you are not part of the book, this is something that you have to have because this, Guada, is just the first one, right? Yes, it's the first one because <laughs> I think it's going to be a really good tool to teach new planners. I think it's going to be a really good t uh, tool for you vendors but more important again we're going to be in libraries in other countries this is a uh, this is a legacy so yes as soon as we uh, we're going to reprint the book in march i think giovanna and yes then, yes because we are almost sold out now so probably yes we're going to reprint and as soon as we do let's do another one and let's i mean i Let's do another one, but not only the ones that were here. Let's get more and more wedding creators from all over the world. It doesn't matter if they're little. It doesn't matter if the wedding's small or it's luxurious. Let's just get yes. going so we can really teach what wedding is planning is about. Because it's not only about about the industry is giving is giving jobs to many 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 people so yes 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 and it's important to mention guys that uh this is the first book it has been a long journey so far to put together the book and i'm super proud because this is gonna be like something go that you need to have in your home so you can because look it says here Number one, how can you have the number two if you don't have the number one? You have to have the number one. Otherwise, you're not going to have the complete collection. <laughs> so this is the page that Guada asked me to do to show you again. So we ask wedding creators part of the book crazy questions. And they, uh, they answer us with amazing insights and tips and things that everybody wants to ask, but nobody has the courage to ask. So we ask them. And here, instead of you read like that, you start here. It's like a game. A game. So you start here and you go here and you have to do that and you have to do that and you have to do that. So there's no way to do that in digital platform. So we do have the first international printed book for wedding creators by wedding creators and i'm super excited to make sure your book is covered we do have a cover never stop creating so you're gonna have your book protected beautiful you can live in your office you can live in your desk for like a piece of art and here you can touch and you can feel. The book is all about feelings. So we have like mirror, mirror pages. We have sensorial pages. We have pages that you really need to turn so you can read it. And oh my gosh, it's amazing, right, Guada? I'm super excited. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a kid with my new toy. So oh, I'm, I'm, um, I'm very emotional. I'm very emotional because... Um, I don't know if this happened to any of you, but when I started being a wedding planner, nobody took me seriously. Nobody said, oh, that's a real job. Or nobody said, 
oh, you're giving jobs to people or you're going to do this. People like, oh, you're a wedding planner. But, and now, now after so many years of hard work, we're being taken seriously. And this book, to more than ever, will make us be serious. We're not playing. This is an industry, an industry that gives a lot, a lot of jobs. So, and the other yes. thing, Tell them about the QR. I love the QR. What is it going to do? So here you have, let's see, for example, let me pick a wedding. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to choose. I'm just going to serve here. Okay. Here, Jenny and Stella and Edith from Panama, they have a beautiful Jewish wedding. Okay. Their faces, their uh, the application about the, the wedding, and here you have a QR code. What the QR code is going to do? You're gonna go with your cell phone here, boom, QR code, and you're gonna go to the digital platform, in which you're gonna have a lot of other pictures, the full interview with the wedding creators, more information. All the uh, vendors are mentioned there uh, too, so you can also connect with people because this is a book that we're going to use for connections. This is not just a beautiful book. This is a book that celebrates the wedding industry, that celebrates diversity and inclusion, that celebrates uh, everything that we are doing as a wedding creator and your team as well. That's why we are always honoring them. And the QR code will bring you to the whole new world of the book. That's why we are saying that the book doesn't finish in the end because it doesn't. So you're going to have your book and you're going to have all those QR codes that you can, that you are able to, that you are able to see here. There are individual QR codes. Every single wedding has one. And there are a lot of hidden secrets because it's, it's like a treasure hunt. You're going to have the book and you're going to start reading the book and you say, okay, now I finished. No, you didn't because you're going to have the QR code. Then the QR code, you're going to have more information. So it's going to be fun. Right, Guada? Yes, and also, again, being me emotional, which is, I don't know why, but today I am very, very. I want to thank you, Giovanna, and our team, our team of designers, our team of creators, our team that really have worked two plus years in this book. Um, we've changed a lot of things We because we wanted it to be so different, and it was a big challenge. So I want to thank you. Yeah. Because you did so much. So we might just, when we finish, just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to pop up like a Prosecco and tequila and just celebrate online at least. I'll go crazy. I don't know. But I'm super proud as well. I'm super happy for my team. And we did. Uh, it was a hard work because I'm a wedding planner. Then I became a founder of Belief in a Community Builder. Then I learned how to write a book. Then I learned how to print a book. So it's just about learning curve. And what I want to leave to you guys today is that the Creator Summit was like 10 days just with amazing people. We had other people that wanted to participate. We'll definitely uh, create something else because it's way bigger than us. And you have to have yours. Let's celebrate the, the, the industry. Let's celebrate everybody. Ah! <laughs> Cheers, my friend. <laughs> and ah, Where is everybody's tequila? Yes, I, I just have my water here, but I can pretend that it's a tequila for now anyway. So I think the most important part uh, about the project of the wedding book is we might change plans, but we don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what you do. Don't ever, ever believe that what you have to share is too small because there are people out there that need you, that need your word, that need your effort. So just keep going. Just keep like celebrating and celebrating life and being together with your community. If you're not part of Belief yet, just come join us. We are always with your hugs, like open arms for you guys. And this is just a small piece of our whole community. And if I can give an advice to anybody, which I don't like giving advice, but I will give you one 
want to they participate participate in your associations participate in believe participate with your tourism board participate if you don't do it you will not get anything back mm -hmm. participate yeah yeah and this was uh i don't like to say difficult here i don't i don't use that i use challenging but you know uh this was a challenging year for everybody and we need to show up more than ever for our community for the people that we love for our not just our family but our friends and for people that we don't know because they need us they need us. So it's something that we need to put together. And what we're talking here, when I say about diversity and inclusion, I'm talking about couples that don't feel welcome. They, they need to feel welcome. They need to know that everybody can get married. Everybody, it doesn't matter. They need just one to each other. They need a couple. They need to, be, to, to decide to live their lives together. So it's our duty as wedding creators to welcome every single couple, every single people. To, I love when uh, Fer was saying that he learned in the hard way that he needed to uh, be friendly with waiters to the jays doesn't matter that doesn't matter everybody's there together For so me, uh, the cleanly lady is the most important person if the bathrooms are not clean if the floor is not clean it's not going to be a great event we are our team we are Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. So guys, make sure to order your book. I'm going to just show you a little bit again because I like that. So see, it's like, a, let me try to come here. Who has a mirror in the book? We have a mirror in the book. And you know what? Uh, you can see things different way. That's why, because we are creative minds, I will never bring to you guys something that is something blasé, cliche, something that you don't need to make an effort because I believe in each one of you that are out there. I know you can do way more than you believe in yourself. So yes, you're going to have the QR code. You need to use your hands to read the book, not just uh, your eyes, for example, here. Uh, what are some of the choices that you've made in the past? Can you believe it? You're going to have a lot of people that struggle, a lot of people that had good moments, a lot of people that had bad moments. They're going to share with you secrets behind the scenes. So it's not only about the flowers. And I'm, I don't say flowers in the literal way. I say the beauty stuff. It's about the hard stuff, how to put together. When we ask uh, creators what were their biggest challenges, for example, a wedding without light, a wedding, uh, the groom had lost his flight and almost uh, didn't get there. So this is the things that if you can learn with people that already had it, like face it. Why not? Can you imagine? Can you imagine how, how much time and effort you're going to like save by learning from others so this is about the secrets behind the scenes wedding book i'm super proud it's like my new kid my new kid is on the block <laughs> and well, that's it to go back home and be with her family and we be with the photographer she sleeps with so yeah <laughs> Glad that. And yes, guys, so make sure you can get your copy. And the book is now officially launched. Thank you, my friend, my partner in crime for two amazing years that we had together. And we are, we, this week, probably next week, we start to ship the book worldwide. Of course, we cannot promise a delivery date because we are still facing a pandemic, a global pandemic. But as soon as you get your copy, as it's, fast we're gonna ship to you as soon as you get your copy so make sure to go to our bio and get your copy today so you can get fast in your hands as well thank you my friend thank you so much you had an amazing 10 days for the creator summit and i hope to get again maybe others other opportunities like a, a summit again and thank you so much for the planners that believed in us thank you yes. thank you thank you thank you guys Bye. Bye. A, a big kiss to you all. We we'll see you later. Bye bye. Yes, so see you. Get your copy today and 
just go over our social media 